Hey guys, welcome back to Gerota YouTube channel. My name is Arshi Bhaiya, your global marketing manager, and in this video today, we will be diving into the heart of decentralized physical infrastructure network, or some people like to call it as DPNs. So basically, you can call DPN as a place where blockchain technology intersects with the real world infrastructure. Now, according to the recent data from the CoinGecko website, the DPN market cap has surged over 32 billion dollars, which is even greater than that of decentralized exchange tokens. But the burning question today is, what exactly are DPNs, and how exactly are they reshaping the future of connectivity and resource management? Well, imagine a world where individuals like you and me are contributing our physical resources, that is, our hard drive, data storage, our own house wireless connectivity, and even energy grid as well, to a decentralized network, and in return, we earn rewards through smart contracts, which eventually creates a peer-to-peer -peer ecosystem driven by incentives. Isn't that just interesting? Well, that is something what DeepN is kind of about. But the question is, how exactly do DPNs differ from the traditional infrastructure model? So basically, in traditional models, network providers bear the burden of infrastructure maintenance, leading to a high entry barrier and centralization risk. Now, what DPN does here is, it just flips the responsibility among the participants and fosters a self-sustaining economic ecosystem. So in essence, I can take the liberty to say that DPNs leverage the power of distributed networks to tackle the challenges of the physical infrastructure management. Also, for people who don't know, there are actually two main categories of DPNs outlined by the Misari Crypto Thesis 2024 report. The first one is physical resource networks, that is PRNs, and the second one is digital resource networks, that is DRNs. Now, the PRNs reward participants for deploying location-dependent hardware such as energy grids or sensors, while the DRNs offer location-independent services like storage and computing power accessibility worldwide. So yeah, that's how you can categorize the DPNs. Now, let's talk about how exactly does a DPN work. For instance, consider energy sector. I mean, individual homes with solar panels can sell excess energy directly to their neighbors bypassing centralized electricity board or municipalities. Now, this particular transaction is then recorded on a blockchain for transparency with smart contracts automating processes like energy sales. Now, when this happens, it definitely increases renewable energy use, democratizes the energy production and incentivizes participation through token rewards. Also, it is interesting to note that the now DPNs are extending its arm to the DeFi platform as well in cryptocurrency market, which offers financial services without the traditional intermediaries and enabling decentralized ownership and trading of assets through organizations. Now, you might also think as to why exactly is DPN important. I mean, we already have a well-established infrastructure, so what's the need to mess around again? So here's the thing, right? Firstly, DPN just simply enhances the security and efficiency by eradicating single point of failure and makes the entire network tamper-proof via blockchain technology. Secondly, in sectors like supply chain management, DPNs ensure transparency and traceability which ensures that there is no fraud and counterfeiting. Moreover, it democratizes the access to vital resources such as energy and transportation by enabling individuals to engage directly in production and distribution. This eventually leads to a fairer, more sustainable ecosystem. Also, with the help of DPN, there is also an angle of economic empowerment by facilitating the peer-to-peer -peer transactions and incentivizing participants as well, which creates avenues for entrepreneurship and especially in the marginalized communities. Now, if you're wondering what all projects are currently working in the DPN space, well, Gate.io has always believed in supporting the right projects who are making a difference in the world for a better good. So, the first project in the DPN space that we have listed is Oot that goes with the ticker ID OORT and it's a decentralized AI infrastructure for data privacy and cost saving. I mean, it basically integrates the global compute and storage resources to empower trustworthy AI applications. Now, the second DPN project to watch out for is Neurai, which goes with the ticker ID XNA, and this aims to be the platform to enable harnessing the power of AI algorithms for efficient data analytics, predictive modeling, and decision making, and connecting to the IoT devices using the blockchain assets. The third one on this list is the Dynex project with the ticker ID DNX, which is a next generation neuromorphic computing platform built on the revolutionary flexible blockchain protocol. And finally, the last one on the DPN list to watch out for is the Serenity Shield with the ticker ID SERSH which is a secure solution for blockchain data storage and crypto inheritance. So basically it offers a simple yet powerful solution to the common problem of lost data or wallet access in the blockchain world. So yeah, I mean, these are some of the deep based projects to look out for. And as we conclude this video, it's clear that the decentralized networks hold immense potential to revolutionize how exactly we interact with the physical infrastructure. And with market giants like Amazon and Microsoft dominating the decentralized infrastructure space, DeepWins offers a promising alternative that prioritizes accessibility, efficiency, and sustainability. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep trading on Gate.io.